Hey there, home run fans. In 1951, Major League Baseball witnessed one of its wildest moments. A three foot seven dwarf named Eddie Gadel stepping up to the plate. Was it a publicity stunt or a game changer? Let's dive into this incredible story. Join me here at Niners Home Run as we explore the unbelievable tale of Eddie Gadel, the mastermind Bill Veek, and how this crazy event shaped baseball history. Meet Bill Veek, a war veteran with a wooden leg and a knack for wild promotions. This guy once hired a clown as a first base coach and even organized a disco demolition night that ended in chaos. But nothing compared to signing Eddie Gadel, a dwarf, to play for the St. Louis Browns. On August 19, 1951, Veek's plan came to life. Eddie Gadel, in a tiny uniform with the number one date, popped out of a giant birthday cake between games of a doubleheader. Veek, ever the showman, had pulled off the perfect stunt. But it was more than just a joke. It was a strategic move to bend the rules. Gadel's strike zone was only 1.5 inches tall. Veek told him not to swing, joking that he'd be shot by a sniper if he did. Gadel walked on four straight pitches, and the crowd went wild. Gadel's walk made headlines everywhere, but the American League wasn't happy. The very next day, they voided Gadel's contract and made a rule requiring the league president's approval for all player contracts, effectively banning little people from playing in Major League Baseball. Bill Veek's legacy is mixed. Some saw his actions as turning baseball into a circus, while others appreciated his innovative spirit. Veek brought many changes, from exploding scoreboards to putting players' names on jerseys. Today, the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 raises questions about the legality of such a ban. In 2009, the York Revolution, an independent minor league team, signed Dave Flood, a 3'2 radio host, to test the strategy again. Despite striking out, the attempt sparked debates on inclusivity in sports. Could a dwarf succeed in today's Major League Baseball? Some experts think so. Stats show that a player with a tiny strike zone could boost a team's winning chances by drawing walks. Former MLB players and managers have debated this, with some like Francisco Rodriguez admitting they'd prefer pitching to Babe Ruth over a dwarf. In 2014, the Bridgeport Bluefish tried this in the Atlantic League. The batter struck out but it showed that professional pitchers could still hit small strike zones. The potential for an effective dwarf player remains a tantalizing possibility. Eddie Gadel's brief appearance in Major League Baseball is a symbol of both the sport's potential for inclusivity and its history of spectacle. While Gadel never got to hit again, his legacy challenges us to rethink what's possible in sports. What do you think? Should MLB reconsider its stance on players with unique physical characteristics? Could a modern-day Eddie Gadel succeed on the field? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the world of sports. Step up to the plate, feel the summer sun, hear the crowds roar. Niners home run Josh Gibson's name Echoes through the stands Smashing records high One more